Here we go then with the back nine for rookie division in the Savannah tournament, as always using true rookie level clubs only. Thumbs up on the video will be greatly appreciated and a very warm welcome if you're new here. Don't forget, please do become a subscriber if you're enjoying the content. Here we go, hole 10 then. We do have a couple of drops on the back nine. Uh, going again with 2.8 top spin, one bar side spin to the right with a marlin and the quarterback. Let's look at the second bounce if your uh, club level is different for your driver. And just aim for that second bounce to be in that little recess in the fairway over the sand. Adjusting max plus 10 here. Max plus 10. And we start with the perfect on the back nine. Bouncing over very nicely in this generous uh, wind condition that PD have given us. And we get a drive there of 279. Now here I actually play this one mid plus 10. But I do either not aim it correctly or over adjust. So I would suggest, I think my aim is good with the ball guy to the backbone. I'd suggest you go mid plus 5 rather than mid plus 10. I think you've got a very good chance with mid plus five, to be honest, but obviously you've got to take into consideration your drive distance as well as your club level. So mid five, I would believe, is better. As you can see here, mid plus ten is just going to miss to the left side. So we did just over adjust that one. On to hole number 11, and here, once again, just want to secure the safe eagle. So extra mile. Three bars of top spin, two bars of side spin to the right with a tight, and we will need that for the second shot. Yellow ring just touching the rough on the right, and adjust here. Um, max distance with 10% elevation. I'm going to go with half a ball of curl to the right. Plenty of room there, and we bounce very, very nicely indeed. Could maybe have gone with a click more topspin once again, but three is safe and just prevents against any accidental overpower when you're using your curl. A big dog once again, and we're applying topspin so that we can see the second bounce just after the rough, because we do have some tailwind here, which is going to help carry the ball. A one bar of left spin as well. I think we could actually go to 1.2 bars, to be honest, or either tweak our aim, because we do just miss this one. Uh, max plus 20 is the adjustment, no curl, and again we're just playing for the eagle. If we do get the albatross then that will be a wonderful bonus as well. But if not, just make sure you're going to secure the eagle on this one. Look at that one, bounce is lovely, but just missing a quarter of a square really. It was a good try nonetheless. Hole number 12, uh, didn't have a very good look at this one if I'm honest. Um, I had some indecision of how much spin and where to... Uh, try and uh, land this one. I play it max plus 10, I didn't need to. I would say go with mid plus 10, but we do need to go with more backspin here. So I would suggest going with two bars rather than one bar and a half, because we come in too hot. So little tweak to the spin. Again, we're just having to cope with um, not a fully developed ball guide with sniper level five. But we do hit perfect and give it a go, but we can tweak from here at least with a perfect ball. As you can see, this one just is entering the green with far too much pace there. Um, but a little bit of tweaking to be done there. Decent chance still for a hole in one. Hole number four, we do have a drop here. And once again, same setup as before. Four and a half bars top spin, two bars side spin to the left. Ball guide pointing down the middle of the fairway. Almost half the blue ring in the rough there with extra mile level 6. Adjust mid plus 10. And then we take our shot. No curl, no overpower, just a standard shot. Hit perfect and off we go. Bouncing there very nicely and rolling down the fairway. And once again we're looking for a drive distance of around 320 yards. From here, I know this is going to be, once again, mid-distance of the club with, once again, a 10% elevation because we do have crosswind. So it's going to affect the second bounce a little bit more than straight tailwind or headwind. Three backspin or 3.2 backspin, see what works for you. Either will drop, I would think. But the focus here is, of course, having the red ring touching the rough line there. And then we adjust and rings. 
medium distance with 10% elevation. And then all you have to do is hit perfect. Which we do. And we see their camera stays zoomed out and we get it very nicely right at pin for an eagle. Um, hole 14 uh, need to do backspin tweak here to be honest too much backspin on with a navigator at least I go with one bar I think we should be going with half a bar of backspin just aim as best you can with the backbone once again avoiding that glitchy spot we were talking about in the front nine I adjust this one max 15 Let's have a look at the line here and we can just make a judgment call. Maybe we should go max plus 10. There's not a great amount in it, but we do need less backspin. As I said, this ball does stop fairly short. But how's the line? Yeah, the line I think is okay. We just need, as I say, to tweak the backspin. Hole 15. Generous wind again here. I'm stretching out to find the position. Half a bar of backspin, two bars side spin to the right. However, I do tweak and change my mind. Actually, I had one bar on and I tweak to half a bar. So there we go. Half a bar of backspin, my initial thought was correct. Uh, adjustment here, max plus 10. Then we are going to push up to max, but we don't need to go with any overpower, which is nice. Just take a standard shot. Bounces very, very comfortably over there. If you've got lower level extra mile, you might want to put on a ring of overpower. Just see how many rings you've got on your adjustment and whether you need to overpower or not. Second shot here, I'm playing mid plus 10. And once again, um, trying to just grapple with uh, lack of ball guide here. So this is going to be tough unless you have a bigger ball guide. And again, though, you can play with Viper if you do not have the sniper. Mid plus 10 is the adjust, and just line up as best you can. Out of all the par 5s, this is the best chance for an albatross, so if you do get one here, then it's a very nice drop indeed. Sadly though, great left creeping in there. The end is in sight, but we just need to knuckle down and hit perfect. I do believe a perfect would have had a very good chance of dropping there on that one. But, you know, you've got to hit perfect on these. Hole number 16, adjustment here, I go max plus 20, and I'm playing with the Goliath, and that's because we do have some headwind to contend with. Navigator ball to cut the wind down a little bit, because there is a lot of wind effect as this hole does play massively downhill. So max plus 20 is the adjustment here. And we get fairly close on this one, but like I said before, this is a tough one to drop, so just secure the birdie is the first objective here. If you do get anything to drop here, then it's really going to be a nice bonus for you. Good speed though, so maybe a little bit more on the adjust, but you've got to look at the wind strength as well. Now we have another um, wind where we must get to the green in one, even for low level accounts. Titan ball, if you don't have, um, you know, you don't have a shortage of berserkers and you don't want to go with overpower or you've got low level driver, lower than extra mile six, you can go with the Berserker. Four and a half top spin, stretch out, find your position, adjust max plus 10, then push back up to max, working out how many rings of overpower you need. We did have a low wind here, 2.6 with the Titan, so I did need two rings of overpower. If you get wind that's in about the four range, you probably only need a ring, if that. Minor great right, so you think, oh, what's going to happen here? We just bounce on the fairway. Obviously, we want to hit perfect, but still. We've got a very makeable wedge for the eagle. And finally on to hole 18. I do try and push this a little bit um, harder to see if we can get in range with a rough bump for true rookie clubs. But it is still difficult. Red ring touching the rough though. Same adjustment as before. Max plus 10. Four and a half top spin. Two bars side spin to the right. I'm going with some more overpower here though. Two rings and a right edge of the ball touching the outside wall of the adjustment ring to the right. Got a perfect away, which is very nice here, because we don't want to give ourselves a longer shot on the second. Again, could be pushing this further, though. So if you want to go with three or four rings of overpower, then you can do. 
I'm still too short, even with Sniper level 5, to do the Rough Bump. But we will do, once again, the Containing uh, Bounce Up instead. 2.8 bars backspin, 2 bars side spin to the left. And we're going to adjust max plus 0. We have room on the club to do so. Don't need to push back up. We're just going to take our shot. And I'm going with full curl to the left with this club, which is about 1.2 of the ball outside the adjustment ring to the left. We do hit perfect, and actually, even though we're just playing a containing shot here, we do get fairly close for an albatross here, but it's still a very easy eagle putt. Good luck, guys. See you soon. Bye for now.